I just got the Gleam toothbrush and I'm going to be opening this up, unboxing this toothbrush. This is an electronic toothbrush, power toothbrush, and it says as simple as turn on. Handle, brush head, travel case, and battery are included inside of this. And I'm just going to flip on the back just to see what it shows. It says Gleam toothbrush is a sleek, thin battery operated toothbrush that can make your smile shimmer and it has gentle vibrations that polish teeth and create a gleaming smile built in timer pulses every 30 seconds to let you know when to switch areas of your mouth and it comes with a travel case helps maintain your toothbrush's splendor whatever that means so I'm going to go ahead and open this up from the top, make it drop, and it's a little bit difficult and I'm not exactly sure why, so I'm just going to use a more delicate measure of opening this up, and pull this out, and here is the traveling case that it comes in they were talking about. Nice, sleek traveling case. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And, and it pops open. And here is the toothbrush that comes out of this white case right here. I'm going to show you this a little bit. Get a little closer about it so you can see what it looks like. At the bottom it says Gleam. And here is the power button right here. And here is the head of the toothbrush, very sleek. There are two balancers on the bottom of it so it doesn't roll around. Nice little feature to keep it from rolling all over the place. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on by pressing the power button. So I'm just going to come up here and press the power button. And it starts to vibrate and you can hear the vibrations you can see the vibrations doesn't make much of a noise but you can definitely tell that it's on so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the toothbrush head it comes off easily like that and here is the top of the actual gleam toothbrush that vibrates Turn the back off. Put that on and fairly solid toothbrush. Right here. Looks like the battery goes in at the bottom down here. Let's see if I can open that up. I'm gonna go ahead and change the screwdriver head on my toothbrush or my screwdriver. this on right here put the head right there and then I'm gonna look at this and right there is where I put the screwdriver head to turn this I believe just one twist right and here is the battery at the bottom just tap on it and make sure it doesn't roll out of the place so this is the battery that goes in here. It says fully thin. Don't know what brand name that is. But that's the battery that goes in. You're trying to replace it. And I'm just going to go ahead and place this back in with the nipple side facing towards the inside of the Gleam toothbrush. So put that there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put the cap back on. In order to get it back into place, well actually don't. I don't think I need to use the screwdriver, but there's a notch in there, so I'm going to actually use the screwdriver. I'm just going to twist it, and there was a slight lock that did not happen, so I'm just going to go ahead right here, and twist it, see if it goes on. 
difficulty, so I'm guessing that I have to push this in. And then turn it. It's kind of tricky right there. Try this one more again. Alright, so you have to push it in, get it lined up correctly, and then twist it. Twist it like this, clockwise. And it should get into place. So once you get it into place, the battery's back in, the head of the toothbrush is back on. Put toothpaste on, and looks like I put the actual toothbrush in incorrectly. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and take this out the battery and take a look at this actually I had it in correct correctly the positive side or the nibble side goes in first like this just push that in and then you go ahead and put the cap back on make sure it's lined up in the correct place and it looks like I can actually twist on, it feels that way, but in order to get that secure lock into place, push in and turn it. And it locks into place. Now let's see if I can turn this on now. It looks like I somehow broke it, but I'm going to get to the bottom of this. So I'm going to unscrew this and I'm going to get this out of this and I'm not exactly sure why that this is not working properly. I mean, I'm looking on at this side right here. If you come up close, to, it shows how to put the battery in. It says the nipple side. Get a little bit closer so you can see that. It says the nipple side is facing inwards like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, place the nibble side, correct me if I'm wrong, put that in, and let's go ahead and put this back. Okay. So you have to make sure it's twisted all the way. So you will definitely need a, some sort of coin or a screwdriver to get that going. But once you do, your Gleam toothbrush should be back to acting normally and vibrating like it's supposed to be doing. It's vibrating on the table like that. Do you see that? So overall, this is the Gleam toothbrush. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And then I'm going to place this back in a two case. And then I'm going to shut it. And that's the Gleam Toothbrush. I hope this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching. And please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.